Hey guys, good morning. Hi. Welcome to the vlog. Adelina's a little sad right now because she's so obsessed with this camera, you guys. She just wants it. You sad? You want the camera? Oh, bam. Yeah. Say good morning, guys. Say we have lots to do today. It is already, oh no. But yeah, like I was saying, we have lots to do today, you guys. It is already 1045. Um. We've had quite the morning already. Uh, we did our normal little routine, but her dad came at his lunch. So her dad goes to work really, really early at five o'clock in the morning. He takes his lunch around like 9.30, 10 o'clock. So he came over and he dropped off the car. I'm having a little bit of car issues if you didn't see in a couple of vlogs ago. Uh, my car did break down, um, or like didn't break down, but like I just don't feel comfortable driving it right now. All right, so I switched you guys down here just because it's easier because Adelina just wants the camera and if I'm holding it, she wants it and she wants it right now, so. <laughs> yeah, but like I was saying, Little Miss does have a cardiology appointment today. Um, it's at noon, so we have like an hour. <laughs> and to be 100% honest, these cardiology appointments are not my favorite thing because my child is there screaming and I'm forced to hold her arms down while she gets an uh, echocardiogram done, which is basically an ultrasound of the heart. And it's a lot for me too because being a heart patient myself, it's just... I don't want to deal with it. I don't want my daughter to deal with it. I just would rather not. There's so many emotions that come up when I talk about it. So I know that I mentioned that Adelina does have a heart issue or a complication. Um, she has an atrial septal defect, which is actually what I was born with, an ASD, which essentially means a hole in the heart. In Adelina's case, she actually has a fenestrated ASD. So what that means is that there's more than one hole. So kind of like a strainer. If you think about it that way, it like sounds crazy because there's like, there's like a lot of holes in a strainer and that's how it was explained to me. So yeah, it's a lot to deal with. So she does have multiple holes in her heart. One of those being the most concerning and that's what we're checking today. Um, I'm hoping it either stayed the same size or got smaller. Yeah, so like I was saying, Adelina has a fenestrated ASD, which means that there's multiple holes in her heart. And I was born with just one hole in my heart, which was a pretty large hole in my heart. Um, there's one hole that's of great significance. That's the one that we're checking on to make sure didn't get any bigger or anything like that. So it's a lot to be honest because I don't really like to talk about Adelina and her heart condition because I know that that's her story to tell. I'm here and so willing to tell mine and I know that this is part of my heart story and my heart journey but being a person who has lived through open heart surgery, who has had multiple heart surgeries, I now have a pacemaker and defibrillator so it's just it's a lot and I often blame myself because I don't want her to go through what I went through like I went through a lot and when I say that like I went through a lot and I'm putting it lightly I went through a lot don't want that for her a lot of emotions come up when it is time for her appointments I don't like to sit there and have to hold my daughter down while she's getting evaluated it we're praying heavy today, extra heavy. She's right here, she really wants the camera. So we'll give her a little bit of time to shine. You wanna show them that you're in your Peppa Pig pajamas? Yeah! Oh, look at the little queen with her headband. Say, I stole my mom's headband. <laughs> oh yeah, you know that you're the sweetest girl I've ever met in my entire life? Give him a kiss, give him a kiss, give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's a little bit later. We're all changed, ready for Adelina's doctor's appointment. I'm honestly just wearing like a tank top and leggings. It looks so gloomy outside, but it's hot. Adelina already has a mess going on, but when does she not? <laughs> She's changed. She's wearing a little biggie shirt, some little pants, and a little tiny bow in her hair. Cute stuff. Um, <laughs> ew, did you just burp? 
Did you just burp? <laughs> but I'm about to take my blood pressure medication right now. I forgot to take it yesterday, and by the time I remembered, it was 1.30 p.m., and you're supposed to take it every 12 hours, and I was not awake at 1.30 a.m., so I'm already late for this dose, but yeah, we gotta get better about taking it, especially like with us going to the cardiologist and all that stuff. Goodness gracious, you would think that I'd be better about it, but honestly, like, mom brain is for real, and I honestly forget all the time. It's a bad habit. I know, I'm saying we're all ready to go to the doctor, mama. All ready. Ready. Ready, ready, ready. I'm ready. Hey guys, so we just got done with Adelina's doctor's appointment. She is actually in the car seat in the back here. Um, we just pulled up to Target and she fell asleep and I had a feeling that this was going to happen. So I think I'm going to stop and go to El Pollo Loco and just grab some food and wait because I have to pick up her dad and her dad is literally off at 1.30. It's 12.45 right now and we live all the way on the other side of town so I don't feel like having to drive there. By the time I drive there and drive back like it just makes no sense and just hang out for a little bit. Um, it's quite hot here in the car so I might have to find a shady little spot but I did want to give you guys an update on what the doctor said at her cardiologist and I'm so thankful like I've been so worried because when it comes with my heart health, I'll take it, I'll deal with it. But like when it's Adelina, it's just, no, I cannot handle it. Um, but so the doctor says she has three holes. One hole on the top, which is pretty concerning. The second hole, which is pretty concerning. And then the smaller hole, which he says, even if we don't close that one, that he thinks it'll be fine. Um, so he doesn't think that she's going to need a procedure right now. We are looking at getting a procedure done when she's anywhere from three to four. Um, I had my open heart surgery when I was two years old um, crossing our fingers and praying that she doesn't have to have open heart surgery he did not bring open heart surgery up this time he said that if for whatever reason we can't close those holes with a plug um, that's what it's called I don't necessarily know the proper terms or else I would definitely be giving them to you guys but um, they basically go in with like a little balloon and then they close the they close it from both sides I literally am horrible at explaining but so that's what the plan is for right now and um with that they can go through her leg so it's not open heart surgery and i just don't want my girl to have to have like a huge scar across her chest like i do it's not fun um but yeah so he's saying that we might even be able to close those two holes with one plug um it's too early to tell but it's getting so hot in here, so I'm going to turn the car on, and we're going to go get some El Pollo Loco, because that's my jam, and then we're going to go drive and wait for her dad. The goods. Um, I got a salad. Their side salads are so, so stinking good. I always ask for, like, a side of grilled chicken, too, but I didn't today. Got nachos, and of course, their green salsa. Oh, and I got mashed potatoes for Adelina for when she decides to wake up, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna eat this while I ha actually have a moment. I always get like super stressed out when it comes to those things, especially because she like freaks out sometimes, like laying there as they're doing like the EKG or not EKG, echocardiogram. And like for me, I've had them done a million times and they don't hurt. Everybody says they don't hurt, but when they come to a certain spot, like it's probably different for an adult as a baby, but when they go to a certain spot, it does hurt but it's something that you have to get done. I have to get it done. I have to get mine done once a year, sometimes every six months, depending on my situation. Right now, once a year. For Adelina, she goes to the cardiologist every three months. And from a cardiology standpoint, you're like, dang, that's a lot. When you go to the doctor every three months. Um, normally, I go every six months, like I said, or once a year. I'm doing pretty good with my heart health that I do go once a year um, to UCLA. But I do have a local cardiologist here in my hometown that I see, I think I see him pretty soon, but that's because to adjust my blood pressure medication um, and to put me on a different blood pressure medication because the one that I'm taking right now um, was safe while nursing and stuff because I did have the postpartum preeclampsia, but since the high blood pressure issue has lasted or lingered on since I've had Adelina, it could just be 
what it is now and I did have low blood pressure before so it's something that's different um, I did mention earlier that I do need to get better at taking my medicine and that's something that I need to hold myself accountable for um, it looks like she's awake so if that's the case we're gonna eat and then I'm gonna go to Target because what are we doing yeah. <laughs> to Target. Mm. Chicken? <sighs> Don't push buttons on your dad's car. Make the alarm go off. Alright, we're gonna finish eating. Maybe we'll go check out the plants at Carlos's work if we still have some time. But I do need to go to Target because she literally has like she literally has a little bit of formula left and um we're transitioning her over to soy milk right now but she does not like cold milk i'm trying to like help her out a little bit but she does not like it so i need to go pick up some of her formula since i stopped i stopped pumping and um it's been it's been two weeks three weeks since i stopped pumping um it's different it's different, but you know, my body was like ready. Sorry, my body was ready to stop making milkish. But it is what it is. We're gonna go, we're gonna finish this food and then we'll see you guys in a little bit. You making a mess? You guys have to see Adelina. This shirt. She is literally soaking wet. She's drinking her water but spitting it out. You think it's funny? I have to change you now. I also told her dad that I thought it was so cute, her little outfit, because she looks like she's in jail with the little pinstripes and the orange. Good morning, guys. It is actually two days after her doctor's appointment. We, I actually, <laughs> she's like, what? The camera actually died on the day that she had her doctor's appointment, and I just forgot to vlog yesterday, um, but we're doing so today. We have already hung out, ate breakfast and everything. It's actually really close to sweet girl's nap time um but i'm trying to push it a little bit my mom's actually getting off of work early today and she wants me to go with her to costco so she's gonna pick us up in just a second here so i know baby girl's tired but maybe she'll fall asleep on the ride to costco or something her naps have been a little thrown off just because we're still trying to get used to her cousin being back at school and everything which is a little rough huh <laughs> Yeah, it's a little wolf. <laughs> but I also wanted to add, since this is kind of like, since this is kind of like a heart vlog, um, I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to add that sometimes after doctor's appointments, I get in like a little funky mood. It definitely happens when I have a doctor's appointment for myself. If I have to go to LA, if I have to have a pacemaker check, that especially like changes things for me because with the pacemaker check, they actually have to like make your heart go back to how it was before you had your pacemaker and mine beats really, really <laughs> slow. So it's just very exhausting and draining. And they also like speed it up and make it go irregular and all this and that. So those sometimes take a toll on me. Um, lately they haven't been as much since I've gotten my ICD, which maybe that's a plus, a bonus thing. Um, I did actually get something in the mail the other day. I showed it in one of the other vlogs, but I actually have not hooked it up. So maybe I should go do that right now. Let me go grab it. Adelina is like pulling on my shirt. I think she knows that I stopped pumping too. She can tell. She can just tell. But um, yeah. But like I was saying, um, doctor appointments do take a toll on me and I've noticed that since having baby girl that her appointments take a much greater toll on me than my own. Which, I mean, of course, it's my daughter. Like, I don't want her dealing with anything. But I just wanted to put that out there because um, I do actually have PTSD 
and it's diagnosed and everything. I hate saying that too. I hate saying it because I have like civilian PTSD. I didn't go out and fight a war or anything, but like my body has been through a lot. So um, my body holds like residual energy and it just like remembers things. Your body has muscle memory and um, it's just a lot sometimes. With my PTSD, my brain and my body don't necessarily like communicate. Um, they sever that communication in my case my brain and my body don't like to communicate very well and um, so sometimes like my brain will tell my body that I'm good and my body's like shaking or having a reaction or something crazy <laughs> alright guys I gotta I gotta get this little girly situated cuz she's not having a fun time but I'll see you guys in a little bit Adelina tell your friends what are we doing Hi. you want some watermelon okay careful Say we're having a little picnic outside. We brought a couple of her toys out. The kitty came to say hi. The kitty wanted to play with you. you want some watermelon? You want it? <laughs> it's all of it. You want to try? You can do it. <laughs> she just loves Later, you. We just finished hanging out outside and everything. I'm back in the room with little Lena and she wanted to show you guys that monitor that I was talking about earlier. So let me backtrack. And if you're new here, I think I'm pretty sure I mentioned it earlier, but I have a pacemaker and ICD defibrillator. So essentially if my heart stops for whatever reason, I will get shocked and yeah. But um, I was telling you guys that they sent me some stuff in the mail to upgrade my at-home device which is what we're gonna do right now I did show like a little sneak peek in another vlog but I figured that this is the vlog to go ahead and set it up in um Alina is having quite the little time of her life putting this guy on here and this thing actually like goes I don't know how to say it. That little thing that she's picking up actually goes over your pacemaker to help do pacemaker checks and stuff. The cool thing is that every single time I come into this room, basically everything downloads from my pacemaker ICD to the little device and then they send it on over to the doctor. So if there's anything wrong, they can literally like give me a call, let me know. I've had them call me and tell me that my device is off and stuff like that. So it works it works pretty well but um i just wanted to hook this guy up because we got a whole action needed in the mail so they sent us some upgraded things let me flip the camera around to show you guys so this is what they sent us this is the device that i have here and um these are just like the extra instructions so basically they sent us like a little adapter for the internet because you know we're connected to wi-fi over here so here's the little machine. I actually have it set on top of some clothes that I need to put away. But I figure I'd just show you guys what it says. This is not even the right day at all. How do you change that? I don't know. I just pushed whatever went. It's not the right date. Okay, so it looks like it wants me to do a freaking pacemaker check. Is that what's happening right now? This is something that has to get done. Um, I would show you guys a little screen, which is what I was trying to do earlier. And I think in the process of me getting up to show you guys, I think I messed it up. So it's sending it over right now. It's like this much of a line left. All right, it's done, but it did the same thing. That's weird. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on with this, so I will, I'm going to deal with this in a little bit and figure out what's happening. Maybe I have to redo it again or something, so yeah, I'll figure it out. So little Miss Adelina over here wants to show you some gifts 
and little clothes that her auntie just got her. First off, we'll start off with the shoes that she's playing with. Let me grab the other one here to show you guys. They're so cute. There's the, there are these little stride right little sandals and it's awesome because she's starting to walk now. Which I think she just loves playing with the box to be 100% honest. Um, the shoes are a little bit big for her for right now, but that's fine. It works out. So she has some extra shoes for when she's ready to walk on her own. The next thing that she got is this cute little Jurassic World t-shirt. And if you guys have no idea, my little babe is so obsessed with dinosaurs. Her older cousin loves dinosaurs and has like a bunch of figurines that she always steals from him. But I thought that this was so cute. She loves to roar, so it's so sweet. Now the next thing I think is so adorable. She got her this little Columbia sweater. It's baby pink and it's just like so darling. It's a little big on her right now because it is an 18 month but it's going to be perfect for the winter time. Look at my girl with only one sock on. I cannot handle how cute she is. And then she also got her this little outfit here. It just comes with a little white onesie. And then these super, super cute pants that have like little butterflies on them. And then they're the perfect color green and I love that color yellow. And then this is just the sweetest. A little vest here. And I also so. wanted to show you guys some shoes that we picked up at Target. These ones we recently got. They're gray and they have like some little pastel colors. I think they're so cute. These ones we showed you guys in another vlog. Um, they're also from Target. So, so cute. These guys are both in a size 4, but my girl, I think, is still in a size 3. And it's so hard to find shoes that fit her right now. But also from Target, I thought this was so cute. We picked it up for Halloween. It's just orange, little leggings with little cats all over them. So I thought that that was so stinking cute. But yeah, you guys, I think that's going to complete today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Baby girl is getting tired, so I'm going to spend some time with her before it's time to put her down to bed but peace and love to you always and we hope to see you in the next video see you later alligator bye say bye kisses kisses <laughs> bye guys <laughs> besito one two three um...